Reassure me, we aren't going to have to force that one, are we? I don't think we're even capable of doing it. You're going to have to find a way to open it. Why, of course. And what's inside? Something to vanquish them with? Perfect. So, how does it open? We'll need several keys. I found a note from the architect who conceived the mechanism in Mortimer's secret study. We have to first gather six objects before we try anything. Are your six objects the keys? Exactly. We have the Clement III cross, the nails, the Gutenberg Bible, the exegesis of Judas, an armillary sphere, and all we need to match up the dates between the different calendars. Wait, was that four? How many things was that? Uh, the cross, nails, Bible, exegesis, sphere. That's five things. Five or six, the subtitles aren't consistent. And all we need to match up the dates between the different calendars. Why a cross? Well, I haven't the foggiest idea, but it just so happens that's what you are going to use to activate the mechanism. I found the one Mortimer kept. It belonged to Cardinal Guibert, better known by the name of Pope Clement III. Perfect. Where is it? Unfortunately, I've lost it. What? When I lost my hand, I went dashing out, and it must have fallen from my pocket. <laughs> remember, Mother. I I'm certain you can remember. Let me think. You were running? I was bleeding to death. You remember the pain? I thought I was going to faint. Yes, I remember. I don't think it can be far, can it? Would you have lost it outside? No, I don't think so. It must be in the area. I don't remember going up with it. Perfect. I'll search the crypt before leaving. Okay. We gotta find these five things. Why would the thing to kill demons be where Mortimer lives? The safest place is the most dangerous place, something something? Some nails? Don't ask me. I'm not the one who made the mechanism, you know. When I arrived, there were already a few of them inserted, so I didn't have to worry about those. On the other hand, I remember seeing some in Mortimer's secret study, behind his nightmare. In a golden cup? Yes. Yes, I saw them too. Perfect. It will be easy for you to find them then. You need three of them. Very well. You remember what to do about the rollers. 1191 to enter, and 6466 to exit. Of course. Yeah, oh, we gotta go back to all these places. An exegesis. Anything else? Hmm. You... Did you manage to vanquish the Medusa? To open the chimney? Yes, absolutely. So you've already come across it. It's the Bible of Judas that is exposed in the secret room behind the chimney. Why do they call it an exegesis? Because that's what it is, and not an apocryphal Bible, strictly speaking. It's the study of a text with a summary not an actual Bible. Anyway, well done for the Gorgon. You did well. You didn't get tricked by the light bouncing back. Thanks. Do you think I can take it safely? We haven't got a choice, Louis. Without it, we won't be able to work out this cursed mechanism. Oh, mother, I wish you told me this beforehand because now we gotta backtrack and go to all those places to get that even though we've been to the places already? Why didn't you write that down in the lemon with the lemon juice? There's one in the portrait gallery. What? That's right. You still believe it's in the tower room, don't you? I don't know. There is only one way to find out, though. Right. I shall go and see. Oh, the Gutenberg Bible. I didn't even notice it because I was staring so hard at the subtitles. But um, in episode 2, every single time Louis said Gutenberg Bible, he said Glutenberg Bible. <laughs> There's one in the portrait gallery. Yes, but it's enormous. If you don't want to have to go back and forth several times, then I suggest you get a smaller one. What did you do then? I didn't think I'd need one. I started without one, and I lost my hand before I did need one. And you can see the result. Okay, so you don't know where it is? What do you mean by the concordance of dates, exactly? Don't worry about that. We already have them. They are written on the back of the message I just gave you. Oh, can we read that? Oh my god. This crypt we got going on here. The thing from the... the manuscript. A note from the architect to Lord Mortimer with information concerning the crypt door. He hid this on purpose. Oh, uh, I feel like I roughly know where to find these things. 
This is in the tower room. This is who knows where. We have this already. This is... Oh, this one is in the, the room behind the Gorgon. Where's this one again? This one is... Oh, I'm... I'm so confused. Why a cross? Well, I haven't the foggiest idea, but it just so happens that's what you are going to use to activate the mechanism. I found the one Mortimer kept. It belonged to Cardinal Guibert, better known by the name of Oh, Pope Beyond Clement the Nightmare? The Perfect. Where is it? Unfortunately, I've lost it. Oh, it's here. When I right. lost my hand, I went dashing out, and it must have fallen from my pocket. Well, otherwise, I can I can always go and see Piaggi. He's he's a cardinal after all. Right. This one is in the crypt somewhere. This one is beyond the nightmare. This one is uh behind the gorgon. This one is in the tower room. This one is find a smaller one somewhere. Okay. Okay. One last thing before you go. Be very careful. If you come across anyone, they can all potentially be spies of Mortimer or Holm. Don't ever confide in anyone because a demon can slip inside them at any moment. Wait, not all of them though. Take Washington. Especially Washington. He's been conditioned by Mortimer for years. Look at them for crying out loud. How do you explain their behavior otherwise? The most influential politicians in the Western world gather together without the least protection, without a single aid to assist them, to participate in a conference during which the guests start dropping like flies. Me, Adams, Peru, Hillsborough. Look at the number of calamities that have happened over the past few days. And not one of them has asked to leave the island? Do you find that normal? You'll see. Go up to the manor to look for the keys, and I wager not one of them will speak to you about my being in Emily's room. Do you think so? Go on, you'll see and come back with all the objects in one go. Time is against us. And remember, the code to get out of the secret office is 6646. Oh my god, can the subtitles please be consistent? She said 6646, but the subtitle said 6466. I really wish they would like freaking proofread this a little bit more, you know? Agility, questioning. Questioning? We're running out of books to read. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything for us. No. Yes. Consult the notes. Oh my god. Uh, we will come back. And look at the dates and all once we once we find the objects. Nothing to do here. You ought to go, Louis. If someone finds us here, the situation might well become seriously complicated. All right, all right. There is some blood here. That's very concerning. Oh. Is this where my mom lost her hand? What on earth is that? A disc with information engraved in the metal? An iris that should open, I imagine, and blood. Oh dear. Mother? The dried blood, there. Yes, yes, it's mine. Sorry if I stained everything, but I must admit that at the time my thoughts were more on the pain than cleaning up after myself. It's it's okay, Mom. There are Roman numerals, Arab numbers, and town names. Go on. I'm listening. What do you think? Town names? Bethlehem? Is this some, like, Bible thing again? <sighs> there are some holes. On each engraved piece of information, there's a hole. Those are for the nails, right? That's absolutely right. It might do us good if we go actually get the items first and then examine this because right now we're just kind of blindly looking at it forget about this for now how about we start by looking for the cross that's supposed to be around here somewhere oh it can't be right here right no that's a golden elixir uh, oh, oh lots of little small objects here a chinese coin 
famous cross of Clément III. Well, that was easy. And one key found. That was a little bit simpler than I was expecting. Coin. A lot of little trinkets here. Multiple coins. Oh. Another coin. But I think that might be it for this immediate area. Now we have the exegesis. The armillary sphere. That's the big thing we saw in the... What's that room? That art gallery room? Right before the... Oh yeah, by the way, there was a freaking servant here by the end of episode 2, right? What was that about? Where is he now? Key with an occult air symbol. Okay. Or... Organon? Organon. Aristotle. Collection of treatises on the study of reasoning and logical thinking. Not good for a detective. But not quite good for us right now, huh? So was my mom just hanging out here for a few days? Or... It kind of looks like somebody was living here for a little bit. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Yeah, I think we, we know that by now. <laughs> Once we get out, people might try to talk to us or stop us. We got to be a little bit careful about not telling people things that they don't need to know. Where am I headed to first? Well, we are right here, next to the art gallery place. We could go beyond the... Not the nightmare, but the Gorgon to the secret study room again, because I think one of the items was there. Or, um... Yeah, this way, right? Or, no, this actually goes back to the conference room. How does the layout of this work again? Great Conclave Chamber. The place I was thinking about was... The portrait gallery. Yes. Portrait gallery. Right this way. Earlier we got a key for occult air symbols, but I... We've seen so many of those locks and boxes, I don't quite remember <laughs> where which one is, or if we've even seen it before. Well, there's this. The sphere. Right. It's definitely an armillary sphere, but I have to find one that I can take with me. Otherwise, I risk drawing too much attention to my comings and goings. Now, where can I find a smaller one? Have we seen one on Mortimer's desk before? It seems like the kind of place where we could find something like that. Right. Let's see if the statues are in place yet. Oh, do we have to do this again? The lantern is already in the right position. Turn toward the shield. Shield toward the sword. Well, that's good. The statue is already in the right place. That statue is not positioned correctly. <laughs> Wait. Was it the... the sh or this one? It's already grayed out. No. Open sesame. We're in here again. So that's Pandora's box? An urn? Mother seemed worried that I was able to open it. Hmm. I wonder why. So, I did well not to touch it. Oh, we could have touched it previously, I think, but we didn't have points or didn't have the skill. Yeah, I remember looking at it, but I don't think I actually touched it. So that's the exegesis of Judas. I hope Mortimer doesn't read it very often, otherwise he's going to notice that someone's stolen it. But that's just too bad. I need it. We got a whole bunch of information earlier about Mortimer being a demon and all, but if he's actually so powerful, he could slip into your mind any moment and figure all this out, right? I feel like that might be a thing, but apparently maybe not. Caesar's Laurel Wreath. Hmm. If Mortimer really is what my mother says he is, it could mean... No, that's impossible. No, no, not Caesar. Hmm? And given all the relics preserved here, it wouldn't surprise me if Mortimer claimed it was Excalibur. 
There are a lot of fancy things here. But the exegesis is what we came here for, and that's the only one we need. The Ring of the Nibelungs. Even if Mortimer is several centuries old, I don't see what part he has in this legend. We're done here. Right. I've got what I need. Now let's not waste any more time. What is the next closest thing? The cross, we got it. Some nails in Mortimer's desk room, study room. Gutenberg Bible in the tower room. We don't know where the armillary sphere is. I think in that case, we should go this way. No, this goes back... Mm. Actually, it would probably be easier for us if we went that way, but I, I'm gonna go this way anyway, just to see if we can bump into anybody on the way. Yeah, this place is not relevant. I think the next closest room will be the tower room. Atrus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. We've seen that previously. Oh. Oh. A Chinese coin. Recognizable by the hole in the middle. If I remember rightly, that's called a cash. Is it? Well, not quite what I was hoping to find. But, hey, I'll take it. Coins. They seem to increase the amount of experience I get later on or something. It's cumulative, so it's good to get it anyway. As usual though, nobody's around here. I don't know where everybody is. Hello? Ah, Dorishe. Congratulations for your efforts with Washington. I see that Sir Gregory did well to trust you. What can I do for you? I'm dreaming. My mother was right. He's not going to tell me one word about what happened to Emily. To tell you the truth, I'm in search of an armillary sphere. You wouldn't know where I can find it, would you? Well, well. So you do have a passion for astronomy. Von Volner has already bored me quite enough with all of his endless oh. stories. You ought to concentrate, Louis. Politics is an art that requires all one's attention. Refrain from spreading yourself too thin and leave stargazing to the poets. <laughs> what can I say? I am only- Ask Volner. I am sure he must have it among his effects. Perfect. Thank you, my Lord Duke. Leave me now. See you later. Is it armillary or armillary? Even Louis is changing up his pronunciation all the time. Ah. Oh. No? You don't have any more items for me? You're dead to me. I could just go upstairs, but if we're here anyway, why not? We can make one big loop around here. Oh! Napoleon. Not too shocked. I beg your pardon? About Peru this morning. I asked you if you weren't too shocked by it all. It was shocking. Yeah. And yourself? Not too shook up? The only thing that matters to me about that stupid man, Peru, is the disastrous situation in which it puts us for the conference vote. I wonder why Mortimer even allowed him to roam around the manor armed. He was a veritable public danger. Indeed. You don't seem to be too affected. Tell me. I was wondering. Is everybody here expecting that to happen on some level? Piaggi wasn't affected. This guy's not affected. <laughs> I don't think I need to ask about that again. I, I, we could try. You wouldn't know where to find an armillary sphere, would you? Do you really think this is the right time? Oh, ask Volner. I am sure he will know. What with him being passionate about astronomy, you ought to get on fine together. Leave me now. I need to think of a solution. All right. I won't keep you any longer. See you later, monsieur. Hmm. Oh, he's gone. Oh. Well, that's the book. Conference room? 
There might be little trinkets that we can find here. No, I don't imagine so. We basically cleaned house the last time we were here already. We opened the box. That's fine. We, we end up straight back here. So we made one perfect loop. And now, we can go upstairs. The tower room is not here, but if we can find Von Volner along the way... I think the tower room is right here, actually. Sir Johann Von Volner. Oh, well, his room is right here. Von Volner? I am looking for a sphere that's like the one in the portrait gallery. Do we really not, like, uh, the last time we saw Von Volner, he was kind of laying unconscious on the ground, and we didn't tell anybody? I feel like we should do something about that? No? Can we go outside? Is he still outside? Ooh. Uh, this is not good, because I don't see that sphere. Does he really have one? The signs of obscurantism. Well, not that I can see. We've never been here, have we? There's no way I would have left the royal jelly lying open like that, right? On Volner? Or maybe these things have replenished. Oh. Amber crystals. This is strange. Napoleon said I would find it with Von Volner, but I don't see it in his room. Uh, I don't even know whose room this is. Not my own. Oh, this is Washington's room. Mm hmm. Not quite where we need to be. Uh, let's go back to Von Volner's room because apparently the sphere should be there. Should be. No, these are all closed. Yeah, Von Volner. Oh, it was right here. An armillary sphere. Perfect. That will save me some time. I only hope that he isn't going to realize it right away. Maybe we shouldn't leave by the door then, huh? What if he sees me? We're okay. <laughs> We're okay. The tower room is right here. Whoa! Ah, Louis. Glad you're here. <laughs> Blasted. He's gonna talk about my mother. Come and see what I've found. There are pieces of paper in the ashes of the chimney. Someone's been burning something here. Incredible. He doesn't seem to want to speak to me about what happened between my mother and the Hillsborough sisters. Show me a little. Look, it's possible to distinguish two different writing styles. Hmm. The rest of the correspondence between my mother and Emma. Someone tried to burn an exchange of messages. I'm certain. There must be more. Shit. What on earth is he doing? Why? What is that symbol for? I don't know, but we can get rid of it. Uh. Diversion or manipulation? He's immune to manipulation. Ah, I see. I know what it's about. Do you know who was doing their communicating in this room? Yes, but of course we must keep it to ourselves because it is still a sensitive matter. Volner and Elizabeth had an affair. <laughs> Volner hinted that he found a way to remain discreet about it. I admit it is ingenious. Well, I would never have guessed. Delighted to have helped, but I still have to find my mother. Of course. We shall see each other later in that case. <sighs> Wasted enough time. The Bible. Very scary. He was just right here as I walked in. No, we don't need to read that, I don't think. Oh. He's still trying to figure it out. 
Ha, but he can't figure it out without the Bible. Hey, look, there. Hmm. No, I don't see anything. Come, Louis, look. Someone's clearly drawn a four in the dust. I have a clue. <sighs> I better take the Bible before he works his way back to it. Yeah. He's definitely working hard on it. Okay, well, good luck with that. That was a pretty hard puzzle that we had here with the, the Bible. He didn't even need to freaking open the door because it was already open with a magnet. Oh, the Bible's still there. Okay. Awesome, awesome. It's all going well. And now we're out. One more place left. The nails. And conveniently, Lord Mortimer's room should be right here. If only Lord Mortimer himself would not interfere. Can I ask that much at least? I think we're good. On his desk? Or... No, behind. So it was 1191. Right. This time, it'll be a lot quicker. If I remember rightly, the code was 1191. You could do it for me. <laughs> do it for me, please. One, one, nine, one. Coming back out, it's moving every one of them five places from 1191. 6466. Of course. We're looking for nails in the cup today. Uh, we don't have to see any of this again, I don't think. The map? If Mortimer really is what my mother says he is, this map of the world's slave traffic is even worse than I thought. He's a pretty influential guy. Weaknesses of the Human Psyche by Gilhelm Trimor. Analyze the book. Have we not done that before? Gilhelm Trimor. Trimor. An anagram of Mortimer. Oh! Wow. Arrogant enough to publish writings on mental control and full view of everyone. I wonder who he's writing for. Himself? Not everything has to be for somebody, you know. If Mortimer's conference is successful, French forces on the North American continent could literally change the balance of competing armies. I don't understand why Washington would let it happen. Nope. Nope. Seen that before. Oh. Beautiful. The map of Europe. Someone's written 26 million in France. It's the estimated population of France. Mortimer knows very well that France has a higher population than its neighbors. He's preparing for it to go to war and knows he can make it happen by stirring up the people. I'm standing in front of a lesson of absolute mastery in military strategy, which is absolutely spine-chilling if it turns out that Mortimer is a demon. Hmm. Troops are directed towards Italy. I get the feeling that Piaggi is going to be in for a hard time. If Mortimer is actually working in the good faith of the people, I don't know, man. Do I really mind that he's manipulating everybody? If everyone's doing well, maybe that's not really such a thing. It's locked. I wonder if that'll ever go anywhere. Maybe in the later episodes? No, we've seen all of this. The conference might be focused on the United States, but Mortimer has an eye everywhere. 
Which is not very reassuring if he really is a demon. What is the definition of a demon anyway? It's... It sounds scary. No. A Van Lovenhoek microscope? The most sophisticated microscope there is. Yes, even the Order had to save up for a while to get it, I remember. Mmm, so we could have come back here to open this case. But we couldn't have known that before. Oh, handwritten notes by Lord Mortimer. Is that the last one we needed? Ah, oh, no! Four out of five. Four out of five. We're finding new things, even though we've been here before. The cup with nails. There. Those are the nails I was looking for. It's not exactly a cup. I noticed they were old and rusty, but... But I hadn't noticed these traces of... Could that be blood? It, is it really the relic of the Holy Cross? I can hardly believe it. That sounds pretty scary. Okay. Well, that's it. All five things. A little bit easier than I was expecting. Mortimer's interested in black magic. If Mortimer really is a demon, I wonder what he could be doing with all this. A hand of tarot cards. An emperor, a symbol of power and stability. Temperance, which expresses a reward, and the chariot, or that evokes triumph. If this hand is anything to go by, Mortimer's destiny promises to be glorious. Yeah, I feel like I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> the tiger is dying. Yeah, yeah. Last time we did have a mysterious cube over here that we didn't know what to do with. Feathers, pigeons probably. Right, that's the door. The functionality of the door. Huh. It looks like obsidian or, or onyx. It must weigh a ton. What on earth could that be? Yeah, that's just one of those things that we're not gonna... That's that. <laughs> we're not gonna learn too much more about. Oh, this room actually has windows and stuff. Somebody might be able to climb in from Good above. We're locked in there. Okay. This is it. Now we get back outside. Was it 6466? Six, six, six? All right. Come on. Let's get out of here. 6466, six, six, if I remember correctly. Oh, thank you for doing it for me. And I imagine there's not anything that's new here. A painting. It looks unfinished. A piece by Lord Mortimer, I presume. Hmm. hmm. A rather avant-garde technique. The Titan against men. <laughs> How ironic. Hmm. I think we're ready to go back to the crypt with my mom. So let's head on over there. I gotta say that this part is a little bit tedious though, because they open up so many areas for you, and you don't know when it's gonna change. So I feel like even just within this one episode, I've checked the rooms like two or three times, and it's a big mansion, so sometimes it does end up being a little bit of, um, frustration. <laughs> Tedium. Sorry, sir, but Mr. Peru is not seeing visitors at the moment. He's resting, and is to see no one. Good luck. I wonder if we can go to Peru via the balcony. Napoleon's balcony. Which we were at already before. No. No. We haven't seen Volner again since that collapse, so it's a little bit worrying. It's like, where the heck is he? I have no time to lose, so I might as well not bother him. I am in Piaggi's room. He's here. We can't even talk to him. Mm, maybe if we couldn't find the items, then we could have talked to him about it, but they don't really want me to do that if I don't need to. Okay, fair enough. Dear Giuseppe, poor health forbids me from joining you. Please thank Sir Gregory for his invitation to Lord Mortimer's. I'm convinced you'll be able to strengthen our agreements. Please tell Sir Gregory that his enterprise concerning our friend, Cardinal Bishop Chiaramonti, is following its course. 
I place my trust in you. May God bless you and give you protection. SS Giovanni Angelico Praski. <laughs> that sounds like the name of a ship. Oh, well, he doesn't want to be bothered. I have and... no time to lose, so I might as well not bother him. Okay, let's go. 